can't tell what it is or who it is. Players of both teams. And I want to tell you, Mr. Funk just knocked one man down. Now they struck the coach. They have just struck Coach Smith. A rebel vision clothing struck him. I don't know if he's a player or a spectator, but this thing is out of hand. And this is going to cost somebody much, much, much. A free-for-all ensues. There goes Jeter. And Jeter fighting with one of the men trying to protect him. Now Jeter comes back into the fray. He's pounding his own ushers. And off of the bench, the man in the sweater is holding Jeter on the floor and being held down on the floor is another rebel because people are trying to be peacemakers. That's all they want to do. They're holding Jones down so he doesn't go any further, if indeed he won at all. That's bad. That's nasty. Certainly, there was a lot of uh, uh, emotions involved in the game, and, and uh, I am one that doesn't condone any of that at all, and I really don't know what happened. You know, it just all broke loose, and uh, really unfortunate. I, you know, wish my guys would have had a little more restraint than they did. I just don't know what happened. Uh, I don't know what happened at the end of the game. I didn't, I didn't see it. Chris Jeter said they bumped heads. He said he, he said, I, I told him, I said, Chris, I hope you didn't throw a punch, and he swears he didn't. I, I'm anxious to see it on video. If anybody's got it on video, I would love to see it. He said they bumped heads. That's all it was. I said they, he said he didn't throw an elbow. He didn't throw a fist. He said he just bumped. They bumped heads. And I mean, I, I don't know.